he got the nerve to unblock me and here go the screenshots. I asked for a second chance and you blocked me. I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I said, how does it feel? <laughs> What's goodies, holy team? It's your girl, Tolly Tots in a building and your daddy show. And today we are going to do a story time. And y'all, I don't barely do story times on this channel, but I have to because of the fact that this is actually a crazy story. And I want to warn anybody that's out there in the dating world to be aware of people like this one. So as you mean by the title, it's the time I dated a psycho. And I don't even want to say I dated him because of the fact that we only talked for a week in two days, but I'ma still say I dated him. So without further ado, this might be a lengthy story. So kick back, put your feet up, eat some snacks or whatever, while I vibe out and tell you the story time or whatnot. This situation took place in July of 2022, and on this day, I posted a little cute picture of myself and my story, and we gonna call this nigga, we gonna call him Hawk, because he was big as hell, big ass arm, big ass body. He wasn't big in a meaty way, he was big in a muscular way. And those type of men scares me, they intimidate me. I had a thought like, damn, this nigga might beat my ass if it wasn't into an argument, so nah, I don't really wanna talk to him. But when I clicked on his Instagram, I was like, damn, he give off real good vibes. He works out, he's a vegan, he look like he's about his business. And that's what I like. Can't judge a book by his cover because his Instagram is very deceiving. We started talking back and forth and I was like, okay, this dude is cool. So we exchanged numbers. I didn't give him my real number, I gave him. <laughs> my other phone number because you know i got two phones one for the plug and one for the hose you guys know what phone number i gave them i gave them <laughs> the one for the h-o-e-s's you know the vibes even at that time period i really didn't have no none of those they was not existing he was the only guy i was talking to at the time and even still this day i don't have none but that's besides the point let's get back into the story um so i give them that phone number because i'm just scared to give people my real phone number because people are crazy. The next day we got on the phone and we was talking about everything. We was vibing for real. And I was like, damn, this nigga Virgo, I'm a Taurus. And you know, Virgo and Tauruses are compatible. So I was like, oh yeah, this might be my man. Until he started rambling about his ex. And I said, oh hell no, nah, this nigga not healed. He's not healed from his past. The way how he was talking about her was so passionate. And I was like, yeah, dude. I'm probably not gonna take you serious because you can leave me at any moment for her. So in my head, for real, for, I was more so on a note, like, okay, I might just talk to him just because I'm bored. Fast forward to the fourth day of us talking. Now y'all probably thinking like, you should have been cut him off after he started talking about his ex so much. But honestly, I'm bored at, at, at this point in my life. I'm like, damn, my love life is really dry. Let me just continue to talk to him and get some type of spice going on, you know? But on this fourth day, he got the nerve to text me and say, you wanna come to my family reunion? I said, oh, hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. What the, time you all here? I'm not trying to meet your family. I said, oh no, 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 I'm good. But thanks for the invitation though. He, he was like, oh, okay, well, I wish I could have met you sooner because I really want you to go. My family will love you. My brothers will be hating on me because of how pretty you are. And now I got a pretty girlfriend and da 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 talking his shit. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> well, I'm not going, no. After that whole conversation, the next day he texted me and was like, what you doing? Did you eat? So I was like, I'm doing my hair right now, but I'm about to, I'm going to get something to eat after I'm finished. He texted me and was like, oh, well, do you want me to bring something to your place? I said, no, but thank you. In my head, I'm like, why would I want you to bring something to my place? I don't want you to know where I live at. I don't know you, nigga. So why would I say, yeah, to you bring something to my place? If you wanted to bring me something to eat, you can kindly say let's go out on a date to grab something but no you did so fast forward to the good stuff so on this day it was a thursday and he texted me and was like i really want to see you i really want to take you out and um, where do you want to go so i was like i mean i'm gonna leave it up to you like you know where do you want to take me he was like you know i'm a vegan so i wanted to take you to this dope vegan restaurant and i was like okay that's fine i never really ate good vegan food before but you can show me to that lifestyle and he was like yeah i'm down to show you um i'm gonna take you to such and such I looked up the place on Google. Let me tell y'all this. I'm not the bougie type at all. But when it comes to the first day, I feel like you're supposed to you're supposed to give what it's supposed to give. It don't gotta be steakhouse. It could be something real nice, but real like cute, you know? It don't gotta be nothing too crazy. Nice and simple, cute. I looked up the place. The restaurant was about ugly shit on the outside. Ugly as hell. I said, no the hell this nigga don't wanna take me here. Is he serious? So I texted him back, I said, is this the place you're talking about? <laughs> he was like, yeah. 
I texted him back and I was like, you want to go to Top Golf instead? I mean, Top Golf is real simple. It's cheap. You can still eat food there. You might have to eat a salad or whatever because they don't got no vegan food. But, you know, you can still drink. We can still play games and talk instead of going to that, that restaurant, child. And the stars in the restaurant was low. So I'm like, why the hell you want to take me here? But that's besides the point. He was like, okay, yeah, we can go. His energy shifted so bad. And I felt bad because I'm like, damn. But then I was like, hell no. Like, are you serious? I texted him back and was like, well, you need to make a reservations. So I'm gonna see the link to make a reservations and you know, you, you can pay online and stuff like that. So we'll be good to go the next day. He was like, okay. Literally three to four hours later, he texted me and said, I made the reservations. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this nigga didn't make it. He didn't because he would have sent me a screenshot and said like, yo, like we in there, but he didn't send a screenshot. So I'm like, okay, we'll see by tomorrow. Tomorrow came and we were supposed to go to Top Golf at like five o'clock PM. And he texted me that morning and said, and said, good morning. I can't wait to see you later. And I texted him back and was like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see you too. He didn't text me throughout the day, but I wasn't bugging about it because he did have to work. And I was like, okay, well, when he texts me, that's when I'll get ready and do my makeup and all that other stuff. But I took a shower where I just didn't actually get finished getting ready. Four o'clock came around and I'm like, hey, this dude still didn't text me. We supposed to be at Top Golf at five. So let me just text him and see what's up. I said, any updates before I change plans? I sent it, then think twice about sending it. 4.30 came around, I'm like, okay, this dude probably standing me up. So I'm happy I didn't finish getting ready. I went through our text thread and I saw that my message never delivered. Hawk blocked me. Hawked, big ass Hawk blocked me. I said, oh hell no. What the hell did I do to you? I texted him on Instagram and said, what's T, are you okay? He was like, wow, what's up? I said, because you blocked me. He was like, oh, well, you got a good head on your shoulders and I don't want to take that away from you. And I said, well, you could have told me that instead of just blocking me like a little girl he said actually do you just want to you want to give us a second chance you know what i did <gasps> blocked i blocked him because what if i really was ready to go on this date what if i was dressed up got my makeup on i'm sitting at top golf just there waiting on him to come through and he just never came what if i was waiting on him for real you pull a sassy move on a real woman you know what he did? I told you guys, he blocked my phone number. He got the nerve to unblock me and here go the screenshots. He said, bitch, fuck you. I just want to fuck anyways. Ugh. Um, you wasn't going to touch my cooter. Anyway, you wasn't going to get nowhere near my cooter. My cooter is my sacred place. People carry too much negative energy. You not about to transfer your negative energy into my cooter. So you was about to do that anyway, suit, dude. I don't even know you. I said sued. Dude, I don't even know you, but that's besides the point. I said, okay, someone's mad. He said, not at all. I saved you because I could have and left your dumb ass alone. I said, you wasn't going to anyway. I'm not easy, big fella. He said, fuck you, bitch, for hurting my feelings. You ain't shit. Huh? You started it. Keep in mind, I'm not even calling you about your name. I was very much confused because how the hell is you mad at me because you blocked me and then I text you on Instagram and I gave you the same energy. I blocked you and now you mad at me because I returned the same energy. That don't even make no sense, dude. So he texted me and said, I asked for a second chance and you blocked me. Like, damn, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I said, how does it feel? Y'all, this is so funny to me. I never came across it. <laughs> Whatever. He said, that shit hurts, man. I was like, what the f I really made a mistake. I don't think clearly. Like sometimes my insecurities take over and I self-sabotage things. I said, I understand that. I truly do. But that's something you need to work within yourself. He said, girl, fuck you. Go choose the wrong nigga then, since I won't get a chance, dummy. I said, okay, thanks. 
I'd rather talk to someone who's mentally stable and knows how to communicate instead of calling women out of their name. He said, all right, bitch. Y'all probably thinking, Ty, you should have blocked him after he said that. But the Taurus in me is a little petty and I was getting off at the fact that he was mad at me because I was returning the same energy. So I responded with the laughing emoji. He said, ain't shit funny unless you pop this some We can be friends with benefits though. I said, bipolar at its finest with a period. He said, yeah, well you dodged the bullet. Like you're perfect, you're probably a whole psycho. You really won't give me another chance? I said, hell no. He said, why? Please, like you don't want to miss out on the good man. I said, are you dead ass? You just cussed me out and said you wanted He said, I was just talking shit cause my feelings hurt. I thought you knew that. Dude, how would I even know that? I only knew you for literally a week and, and a day or two. I barely know you. I said, no, I usually talk to people that respect me 100%. He said, okay, I'm sorry, please, just one more chance. Like, at least you know my flaws now. I'm a bit childish and I self-sabotage. I said, I accept your apologies, but no. He said, can you think about it? I said, no. He said, want to get drunk? I said, hell no. I wouldn't feel safe. And he had got blocked after that. That's the story. We blocked each other on social media and everything. And I'm be real with you guys. I have not talked to anybody since then. It's January of 2023. And even at that time period in my life, I'm like, damn, why the hell is I'm attracting so many weirdos? Like, do I wear a fast sign on my forehead that say, if you're a weirdo, party at uh, Tolly Tolly Land. Come over here, it's a party. I had to stand back and analyze myself. I said, okay, Ty, why is you attracting these weirdos? Why is you attracting low value ass men? What is wrong with you, Ty? Seriously, <laughs> what's wrong with you? At that time, I was confused. I was just, you know, getting back into my career. I wasn't doing no self care routines. I was, I was, I didn't care about my existence for real. I was just there. And I can honestly say that's why I was attracting just anybody. It's crazy because when I finally started to pour back into myself and really focus on what I need to do on this earth when it comes to my career, self care, really making sure my mental health is good, I started to attract opportunities and even aligning myself with certain things. Now, when it comes to the dating world, I don't really know about that. I'm just, I'm focusing on myself right now because I want to be the best self that I can be if I even decide to even consider a relationship. For all my girlies and even my guy that's watching this, if y'all just getting into the dating scene or even if y'all already in it, take a moment and focus on yourself and make sure you good wholeheartedly before you get into a relationship. Y'all, I'm rambling right now. Like I said, be safe out in the dating world and look out for the red flag. If you guys want another story time, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. Get this video to a thousand likes, please. Cause I do have a little bit of a story time. My life is boring, but I do got some juicy story time. So let me know what's up in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, all the goodie stuff. And you know what that is no. It's your girl Tolly Tati and we is out this piece. See you guys. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now.